There's some pros and cons in this. What are some use mm. cases and applications of generative AI that you feel good about for a future? What are some that give you pause? What are some places to worry? The, I'm extremely excited about a couple of really good use cases. Well, anywhere at this point in time, we have the most powerful and most general purpose technology ever invented. I agree with Suna Pinche, the head of Google, that this is more profound technology than fire or electricity because it's more general purpose. And fire and electricity transformed the nature of human labor completely. And so this is doing it again, but times X. So why? Uh, what, what's, what's exciting about that is that we can now start to have complete changes in the way that humans do their work. And since it's just software, everybody can do those things. So for instance, one, some, one thing that all of us do is learn continuously. Okay. And there is a technology for learning called tutoring. But almost none of us can afford to actually have a personal tutor with us all the time. But now we can build one with these large language model systems because it now sits on our side of the screen. When it's, you know, it's like normally our tools are on the other side of the screen. We type and we click and we use them, but now it's on our side. It can do our tasks. And it can even sit over our shoulder and see how we're doing the tasks. Mm -hmm. And so education is a fantastic use case. There's a lot of other similar cases to it, where it's advising or coaching or nurturing us. Now, I have some fears. We, we, the, the biggest downfall of the technology is going to enable and is enabling uh, mass fraud. That is yeah. the ability to pretend to be human when you're not, to influence uh, conversations online when you're not actually there, not genuine, to create, to create propaganda, to create deep fakes. Um, and these are extremely dangerous to society.